that I'm going to give you a few tips to help your lawn through these hot, dry conditions. And that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Darlac. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well today we're just going to have a quick look at the lawn and I'm a big fan of a lawn in a garden. Uh, I just think you know a nice green lawn looks cool through the summer and it helps to set off the plants and the borders all around the garden but of course this year we've had some pretty dry weather in many parts of the country and of course we've had the heat. Just over a week ago we had record temperatures 40 degrees plus in many parts of the country and that combined with the dry weather for several weeks has meant that green lawns have now started to change colour and this little patch of lawn here where I am is normally very green and lush it's in shade for much of the day and it does retain its colour but as you can see it's just completely burnt off um, and this is a mixture of not only is it dry weather but it's also that intense heat beating down on it. Um, now grass is very tough it's very resilient and what I would never do is water my lawn it is just a, a waste of water it's a precious resource that we've got we haven't got enough water as it is so I don't want to waste water on a lawn like this any watering I do is for containers and plants in the garden that are establishing but on a lawn like this I wouldn't the only exception would be if you've just laid a new lawn then yes you do have to water it to help it establish but the roots have dried out but it isn't dead and what will happen when we get some rain and we've already had a bit of a shower here in North Yorkshire I know the west of the country the northwest have had quite a bit of rain so the grass there will now be starting to green up but likewise I know people that live down in East Anglia where it's still bone dry and the grass has gone the colour of straw so we are going to be forecast more hot weather over the coming weeks so the grass isn't suddenly going to green up so what we need to do is just make sure we don't do anything that stresses the grass any more than necessary now obviously playing on it because the children are grown up from school won't actually do it an awful lot more harm so don't keep off it that's not a problem um, what i would do is if you've got to mow it then give it a trim if you haven't got to mow keep the mile well away from it but where you've got tufty grass and the weeds are getting long and it just looks generally unkempt and in need of a tidy up what I would always suggest is to raise the height of cut a little bit and it's just a case of using the height adjuster so that you're just getting a little bit more of a gap there between the grass and the blade so what it will do is literally just take the top off but leave some of that green grass there and I've also taking the grass collection box off and what I've done is put in the mulch plug and mulching does make a difference that stops the grass uh, being blown out it chops it very finely and it blows it down and that mulch of very fine grass clippings actually helps to retain some of the moisture there when we get it uh, and just protects the grass from being scorched too much so leaving it a little bit longer only taking the top off uh, will make a big difference and the other thing that you can do when rain is forecast and I would only do it if there is rain forecast because it will dry it out more in the, if you if you do it now but is to get a garden fork and where you have got dry patches like this these will take a lot of re-wetting the water tends to hit this and just run off so we want when we do get rain we want it to go down into there I'm not going to rake it because that will stress the grass at this time of the year but what I'm going to do is just prick it with a fork literally only you know an inch or two deep and what will happen is when the rain does come instead of it just running off and sitting on the surface it's got somewhere to go so it can get down to the roots where it's needed and then the grass will green up and I can assure you know once we do start to get some rain a brown lawn in a matter of a week will already start to make new shoots the other thing to look out for is weeds weeds often thrive in dry weather they've got deeper roots and things like plantains this is a plantain here um, that will carry on growing and stay nice and green and lush because it's got such a long deep tap root going down oh seven eight inches I'm going to leave them for now but what I will probably do in the autumn when the grass is all growing again and it's starting to make some growth then I will just get a little knife and I will cut those off and we can put a little bit of grass seed on there in the autumn to grow it out and then the only other thing but it's not the time to do it yet is once we get to about mid to late September 
any lawn that has been stressed through the summer months because of the drought and the hot weather, I would give it an autumn lawn feed. That's very different to a spring one. An autumn one is lower in nitrogen. It's got more phosphate to help build up the root system. It's got more potash so that you get that winter hardiness and disease resistance and overall good quality. And a feed in early autumn will build up the lawn. So next year, it's got a really good head start. So although lawns are looking a bit tatty and not very good at the moment rest assured they will green up and they will eventually look good to set the rest of the garden off Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials. Next time we're going to be pruning wisteria, so we'll see you then. Bye.